Hi all of you. Myself Dr. Anandar Muchandi from the Department of Shari Rajna. In the previous video we have discussed about the classification of marma, definition of marma and its introduction. And in this video we are going to study the Shakhagata marmas one by one. So the first one, what are the Shakhagata marmas? The marmas which are present in the limbs are known as Shakhagata marmas which are present in the Shakhas either upper limb as well as lower limb. Tatra Sakti Marmani, Kshipra Tala Hrudaya, Kurcha Kurcha Shuro, Gulfendra Basti, Janvanyur Vilohitakshani, Vitapam Cheti, Ete Netra, Sakti Vakhyatam. So here, these are 11 in number. So 11 into 4, 44. So total Shakhagata Marmans are 44 in number. The first one is Kshipra Marma. Tatra Pada Sangu Strangulur Madhe, Kshipram Nama Marma Tatra Vidhasya Akshay Pena Maranam. So here the Kshipra Marma is present in between the Angusta as well as second Anguli of the Pada. We can see here clearly in Pada this is Angusta that is great toe and the second toe. In between these two there is a Kshipra Marma is present. Here this is great toe and this is second toe. In between these two there is a Kshipra Marma and in the hand also the same thing. In between the thumb and the index finger. This web is known as Kshipra Marma and the Vidhasya Akshay Pena Maranam. If any injury occurs to these Marma, the person will die after getting the tremors. Next Sankhya, 2 in number, Shadangha Anusara, it is Shakhagata, Rachna Anusara, it is Nayu Marma and Parinama, it is Kalantara Pranahara Marma and its measurement is half Anguli. Now the regional anatomy, flexor and abductor pollicis brevis, intermetacarpal joint of first and second metacarpals, branch of radial artery, lateral division of median nerve, first and second metacarpals. This is in the hand. Next in the lower limb, flexor muscles and tendons, first intermetatarsal space, deep transverse metatarsal ligament, medial plantar artery and nerve, plantar aponeurosis, first and second metatarsal bone and intermetatarsal joints. The next one is Tala Rudaya Marma. Madhya Manguli Manupurvena Madhe Pada Talasa Tala Rudayam Nama Tatra Rujabir Maranam. So here it is at the base of the Madhyama Anguli as well as Pada Talasya Madhya at the center of the soul. In the hand it is at the center of the palm as well as base of the middle finger. Here in the upper limb it is base of the middle finger as well as center of the palm and in the lower limb it is base of the middle toe as well as at the center of the sole of the foot and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the rujabir maranam there will be the severe pain as well as ultimately causes to the death of the person so it's true in number Shakagata Marma, according to Rachna, it is Masa Marma, according to Parinama, it is Kalantara Pranahara Marma, and its measurement is half Anguli in length. It is present at the base of the middle finger as well as the base of the middle toe, and at the center of the sole as well as center of the palm. and the underlying structures of these two marmas are in the sole it is the plantar aponeurosis the white structure in here this is a plantar aponeurosis and it is a modifi modified deep fascia and uh, it is a which covers the sole and it is very thick connective tissue that functions to support and protect the underlying structures of the foot and it is having three parts those are medial 
here it is a medial and lateral and the central part and in the palm also the same thing this is a palmar aponeurosis the apex as well as the base the base is towards the finger and apex is at the wrist it is also a deep thick connective tissue and uh, which protects the underlying structures of the palm and it is having again the superficial and deep palmar arch and here also the plantar arch is present and having the flexor group of muscles and tendons and it is in between the this is the second metatarsal bone this is the third metatarsal bone in between these two there is a presence of talahrudaya marma here also this is second metacarpal and third metacarpal bone and the joints are intermetatarsal joints the regional anatomy as we have already discussed in the previous slide flexor muscles and tendons palmar aponeurosis superficial and deep palmar arch transverse metacarpal ligaments binding the metacarpals that is in between the two metacarpals ulnar and median nerve second and third metacarpal bones intermetacarpal joints and in the lower limb flexor muscles and tendons plantar arch plantar aponeurosis second and third metatarsal bone and intermetatarsal joints kshipra and talahrudaya mahatva that is the importance of kshipra and talahrudaya marma kshipreshu tatra sataleshu hateshu raktam gacchatativa pavanascha rujam karoti evam vinasham upayanti hi tatra vidha vruksha ivayudha nipata nikrutta mulaha tasmat yor abhihatasya tu pani padam chetavya mashu manibandha gulfadeshe so here if the kshipra marma and talahrudaya marmas are injured they may cause excessive bleeding and thus there will be the aggravation of vata dosha which causes teevra ruja here rujam karoti pavanascha that is the excessive aggravated vata dosha causes severe pain the person may die and here it is a simile that whenever the root of the vruksha cut off abruptly by a sharp weapon then there will be the destruction of that vruksha or the tree likewise whenever there will be the uh, injury to the kshipra and talavrudaya marma there will be the death of the person so here the immediate amputation or the cutting up of the hand above the wrist joint and leg above the ankle joint is advisable to save the life of the person if any injury occurs to these marmas so here manibandha and gulfadesha here the cutting up of the hand above the manibandha and leg above the gulfa pradesha is advisable if any injury occurs to these marmas the next marma is kurcha marma kshiprasya uparishtad ubayatha kurcho nama tatra padasya bhramana vepane bhavatah that is on the either side of the kshipra marma above the kshipra marma there is a marma sthana known as kurcha marma and the vidha lakshana is padasya bhramana vepane bhavatah that is there will be the inflammation of the ligaments and tendons that leads to the brahmana as well as weapon of the pada now the sankhya again two in number shadanga anusara shakhagata rachana anusara snayu parinama vaikalya karmarma and its measurement is four angula now the regional anatomy or the place where the kursha is present so here above the kshipra marma here it is a kshipra and here it is a kurcha shira this one is kurcha shira marma and here also the kurcha shira marma here it is kshipra marma here also 
the Kshipra Marma is present in the palm and in the soul it is here. So, above the Kshipra Marma on both limbs, there is a presence of Kshipra Marma and again the structures covering the Kshipra Marma, those are flexor group of muscles and tendons, flexor retinaculum, here flexor retinaculum is a carpal ligament or the anterior annular ligament or the fibrous band on the palmar side of the hand. Here it comes the fibrous band or the flexor retinaculum and it covers the base of the palmar arch as well as the plantar arch. Next regional anatomy of the Shipra, sorry, Kurcha in the upper limb, tendon of extensor muscles, deep branch of radial and median nerve, inter intermetacarpal and carpometacarpal articulations, first metacarpal bones, intermetacarpal joints as well as radial artery. As it is on the lateral aspect, there is a presence of radial artery and it is near the thumb so the first metacarpal bones are present and intermetacarpular joints next one is kurchashira gulfa sande radha ubayataha kurchashiro nama tatra ruja so here in the lower limb it is below the gulfa sandhi on either aspect that is on the both limbs there is a uh, Marma known as Kurchashira, and if any injury occurs to this Marma, there will be the severe pain as well as swelling in that aspect. There are two in number, and it is Shakhagata Marma. According to Rachna, it is Nayu Marma, and Parinama, it is Rujakara. There will be no effect over the prana. There will be the prana valambana in this Rujakara Marmas, and its length is true angula. In the lower limb, it is Gulfa Sandhe Radha that is below the Gulfa Sandhi and in the upper limb, it is Manibandha Sandhe Radha that is below the Manibandha Sandhi. Here it is a Manibandha Sandhi that is the wrist joint. Below the wrist joint, there is a Kurchashira Marma is present and uh, the structures underlying this Kurchashira Marma, they, they are apex of the flexor, sorry, palmar, aponeurosis as well as Apex of the flexor retinaculum and tendons of the flexor muscles and ligament of intermetacarpal as well as carpometacarpal joints, superficial branch of the median nerve, ulnar artery and radial artery branches, and in the lower limb. Tendons of the flexor muscles and tendons as well as base of the palmar sorry, plantar aponeurosis and medial and lateral plantar nerve as well as medial calcaneal nerve. Now the regional anatomy that is the structures underlying the Kurchashira. Those are flexor muscles and tendons, apex of the palmar aponeurosis flexor retinaculum, intermetacarpal joints as well as carpometacarpal joints, superficial branch of median nerve, ulnar artery and radial artery branches and carpal bones. In the lower limb, flexor muscles and tendons again posterior tibial artery dividing into medial and lateral plantar artery. Next medial, medial and lateral plantar nerve as well as medial calcaneal nerve, plantar aponeurosis and long plantar ligament and annular ligament, calcaneous bone, intertarsal joints as well as tarsometatarsal joints. Now the next marma is gulfa marma. Pada janga yoho sandhane gulfo nama tatra ruja shofo tatra ruja uh -huh, stabda padata khanjata va. So here the junction between the pada as well as janga. Here Pada means foot and Janga means the calf region. That is the junction where these two meet foot and calf muscles. So that Sandhana is known as or that 
place is known as gulfa marma and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the ruja that is severe pain stabda padata that is numbness in the limb as well as khanjata there will be the deformity in that limb now the sankhya two in number it is shakhagata marma according to rachana it is sandhi marma parinama it is rujakara marma and its length is two angula and here this is the pada and this is the initiation or the starting stage of the jangha that is the calf muscles so in between these two junctions there is a gulfa marma here the black spot is known as gulfa marma and the structures underlying the gulfa marma are it is basically or according to modern science it is correlated to the ankle joint so the structures involving in the ankle joints are distal tibio fibula articulation tarsal articulations medial malleolar ligament as well as lateral malleolar ligament posterior and anterior talo fibular ligament posterior and lateral talo calcaneal ligament fibulo calcaneal ligament that is the ligaments between the talus as well as calcaneus fibula as well as calcaneum as as well as talus and fibular ligaments and the bones are tibia medial malleolus fibula on the lateral malleolus and upper medial and lateral aspect of the talus bone next the ligaments are fibrous ligament medial ligament and lateral ligament deep peroneal as well as tibial nerve and tibial and peroneal arteries again the same thing ankle joint and distal tibio fibular articulations tarsal articulations medial malleolar ligament posterior and anterior talo fibular ligament posterior and lateral talo calcaneal ligaments and fibulo calcaneal ligaments tibia lower end and medial calcaneus and fibula lateral malleolus deep peroneal and tibial nerves anterior and posterior tibial artery and peroneal arteries these are the structures involving in the gulfa sandhi or gulfa marma next indrabasti pashni prati janga madhe indrabasti nama tatra shonitakshe maranam so in the lower limbs in between the jangha jangha madhe that is in between the jangha or at the center of the jangha there is a marma called as indrabasti and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the shonitakshaya that is severe blood loss and the person is going to die shonitakshaya maranam so here the sankhya are two in number shakhagata and according to rachana it is mamsa pradhana or mamsa marma and parinama anusara it is kalantara pranahara marma parina pramana half angula in length here at the center of the calf region there is a basti indra basti marma is present and in the upper limb it is at the center of the forearm so here the structures underlying the indra basti marma are flexor group of muscles and tendons and radius and ulna bones as well as radius and ulnar artery and median nerve and radius and ulna nerve and muscular branches of the radial artery and in the lower limb here flexor group of muscles and tendons as well as tibia bone and sural nerve as well as tibial nerve anterior and posterior tibial arteries next the regional anatomy that is the structures again palmaris longus flexor carpi radialis and ulnaris muscles flexor muscles and tendons muscular branch of radial and ulnar artery as well as anterior interosseous artery median nerve and the bones are radius and ulna in the upper limb in the lower limb it is flexor group of muscles and tendons gastrocnemius soleus and tibial posterior muscles 
peroneal and posterior tibial artery and its branches tibial nerve and sural nerve small saphenous vein and the tibia bone now the next one is janu jangorvo sandhane janu nama tatra khanjata so janu marma it is in between the janga as well as uru pradesh uru means the thigh as well as janga means the calf muscles or the calf region the junction of thigh as well as calf is known as janu marma or janu sandhi and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the khanjata or there will be the complete deformity of that limb so the sankhya are two in number shadanga anusara it is shakangata marma according to rachna it is sandhi as it is a sandhi pradhanata and parinama anusara it is vaikalakara which causes the vikalata or vikalangata in the person and its measurement is three angula in length so this is a janu marma as it is mainly formed by the sandhi it is also known as janu sandhi and here this is a uru pradesh and this is janga pradesh on the back posterior aspect so in between these two junctions or the junction of the thigh as well as calf region is known as janu marma and it is mainly the joint so the articulating points of the femur tibia as well as fibula joints fibula bones as well as ligamentum patellae these are the underlying structures along with its synovial fluid as well as synovial sheath of the knee joint now the regional anatomy as it is compared to the knee joint of the modern science articular capsule ligamentum patellae medial and lateral menisci anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments tibia and fibular collateral ligaments condyles of femur that is on the lower end of the femur and upper end of the tibia and patella anastomosis around the knee joint that is by the popliteal femoral and the tibial arteries the next one is janu ani janu na udhram ubaya strangula mani tatra shofo bhivruddhi stabda saktitha cha so on either side of the janu above the janu urdham ubhaya trangula mani that is three angula above the janu sandhi on either aspect on or on either limbs three angula above the janu sandhi there is a ani marma is there and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the shof as well as stabda sakti that is there will be the numbness as well as inflammation of that limb so the sankhya are two in number shadanga anusara it is shakha gata marma rachana anusara it is snayu gata snayu marma parinama anusara it is vaikalya kara marma which causes vikalata and pramana it is half angular measurement here this is the janu sandhi and above the janu sandhi three angular here it is ani marma and here it is kurpara sandhi above the kurpara sandhi three angular here it is ani marma in the bahu in the upper limb and the regional anatomy of both the ani marma in the upper limb it is biceps and triceps brachii muscles radian as as well as median and musculocutaneous and ulna nerve triceps brachii tendon brachial artery humerus lower end of the shaft in the lower limb hamstring muscles blood vessels of the knee joint femoral nerve sciatic nerve as well as femur bone next urvi uru madhe urvi nama tatra shoni takshayat sakthi shoshaha so uru madhe in between the uru or center of the uru or center of the thigh there is a urvi nama marma is present 
and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the shonita kshaya there will be the severe blood loss and that leads to the shosha or emaciation of the limb so the sankhya 2 in number on each limb shadanga anusara it is shakhagata marma rachana anusara it is sira marma parinama anusara it is vaikalakara which causes the vikalata there is no harm to the prana and pramana is one angula in length here it is urvi marma on both aspect in the lower limb as well as in the upper limb so the regional anatomy or the structures underlying it are especially the apex of the femoral triangle in the lower limb and in the upper limb it is biceps brachii muscles as well as axillary artery and uh, axillary nerve etc here the regional anatomy of the upper limb biceps brachii and brachialis muscle coraco brachialis tendon brachial artery and vein median ulnar and radial nerves and shaft of the humerus now the regional anatomy in the lower limb quadriceps femoris muscle adductor canal femoral vessels femoral nerve saphenous nerve as well as two divisions of the obturator nerve as well as femur bone next lohitaksha urvaha urdhumado vankshana sandhe ruru mule lohitaksham nama tatra lohitakshayena maranam paksha ghato va so it is above the urvi marma as well as adho vankshana sandhi below the vankshana sandhi or below the hip joint the marma is known as lohitaksha that is above the urvi as well as below the hip joint tatra lohitakshayena maranam if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the severe blood loss as well as marana or the person may leads to the paksha ghata now the sankhya two in number in each limb one in each shadanga anusara it is shakha gata marma rachana anusara it is sira marma parinama anusara it is vaikalyakara and its measurement is half angular in length so here here it is a urvi marma and above the urvi as well as below the vankshana sandhi that is the hip joint here it is a lohitaksha marma and in the upper limb it is here it is a bahvi marma as well as below the shoulder joint and here the regional anatomy or the structures underlying the lohitaksha marma those are teres major and latissimus dorsi muscle as well as pectoralis major and minor muscles bicep brachii muscle and third part of the axillary artery anterior and posterior circumflex and humeral artery axillary vein brachial artery medial and ulnar nerves and humerus that is the upper part of the humerus upper end in the lower limb femoral triangle and its contents sos major adductor longus pectineus and iliacus muscles and the femur bone upper end of the femur bone next one is vitapa marma vankshana vrushana yor antare vitapam nama tatra shandya malpa shukrata va bhavati so it is in between the vankshana as well as vrushana vankshana means the hip joint and vrushana means the testis can be compared to the testis so in between the hip joint as well as testis there is a vitapa marma and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the shandya that is infertility to the person as well as alpa shukrata there will be the less shukra in that person so sankhya two in number one in each limb shadanga anusara it is shakha gata marma rachana anusara it is snayu marma parinama anusara it is vaikalakara and its length is one angula so here it is a vitapa marma here it is a hip joint and here it is a testis in between the hip joint as well as testis there is a vitapa marma in the lower limb 
and the regional anatomy is inguinal canal and it contains spermatic cord which contains the ductus deferens testicular arteries covering of the spermatic cord that is internal spermatic fascia cremastic fascia as well as external spermatic fascia ilio inguinal nerve and in females it is the round ligament of uterus and fimbriated end of the fallopian tubes as in the lower limb it is the presence of vitapamarma in the upper limb it is kakshadhara yatha vankshana vrushana yorantare vitapameva vaksha kakshayor madhe kakshadharam tasmin vidheta evopadravaha so in between the test uh, sorry in between the chest as well as kaksha axilla there is a kakshadhara marma and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the severe complications the sankhya twin number shakhagata marma rachana anusara it is snayu marma parinama anusara it leads to the vaikalakara vikalata and its measurement is one angular in length here it is a kakshadhara marma on both upper limbs the regional anatomy of this kakshadhara is teres major muscle latissimus dorsi pectoralis major and subscapularis muscles brachial plexus with its branches medial and ulna nerves and axillary artery next manibandha hasta prakoshtayo sandhane manibandho nama tatra ruja stabda hastata kunirva so it is in between the hasta as well as the prakoshta that is the junction of the hasta as well as prakoshta there is a manibandha marma and according to modern science it can be compared to the wrist joint if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the ruja severe pain as well as stabda hastata that is there will be the numbness in the upper limb and its number is 2 shakha gata marma and as i already told you it is a manibandha sandhi or wrist joint according to rachana it is sandhi marma and it produces severe pain hence it is rujakar marma there is no any harm to the prana and its length is two angular here it is mani bandha so here the regional anatomy or the structures underlying it are again the carpal bones as well as the lower end of the radius and ulna as well as the distal radio ulna joint as well as annular ligaments and capsules of the joint here it is wrist joint inferior surface of the lower end of the radius and articular disc of the inferior radio ulnar joint radial and ulnar collateral ligament anterior and posterior interosseous nerve anterior posterior carpal arches the next one is corpora marma prakoshta pragandayo sandhane corpora nama tatra punehi so here the junction between the arm and forearm that is known as corpora marma and this can be correlated to the sandhi marma as well as it is in modern science it can be called as elbow joint and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the kuni kuni means the complete deformity of that limb so these are two in number shakha gata marma as it is a sandhi pradhanata it is according to rachana it is sandhi marma and vaikalakara it causes kuni or the deformity that is vikalata there is no harm to the prana so it is vaikalakara marma and its length is triangular this is kurpara marma or kurpara sandhi or the elbow joint so the articulation bones are lower end of the humerus as well as the ulna and radius bones as well as radio ulna ligaments as well as radial artery ulna artery and median nerve the regional anatomy or the structures underlying the elbow joint are the elbow joint capitula and and trochlea of the humerus that is the on the lower aspect or the lower end of the humerus upper surface of the head of the radius as trochlea notch of the ulna so the upper end 
of the radius and ulna bones and the lower end of the humerus superior radio ulnar joint or the proximal radio ulnar joint humero radial as well as humero ulnar joints capsular ligament anterior posterior ligament annular ligament ulnar median and radial as well as musculocutaneous nerve biceps and triceps brachii and brachialis muscles brachial radial and ulnar arteries anastomosis around the elbow joint so here this completes the shakhagata marma thank you for watching the video and in the next video we are going to discuss the udara uras marmas